players on debut. Fili Rauch, the uh, German at left back, is one of them, of course. Ashley Sanchez, who mentions well. Donias and Sanchez, though, looking for that connection. Two players who both played with the Mexican national team recently on the roster for the inaugural W Gold Cup. But here's Pinto trying it herself. Right, so it'll be very telling to see how these two teams come out in the second half. Still both trying to get into a little bit of a rhythm. Here's Sanchez. Ooh, cheeky flick to Pinto. Tries to get the cross off. Nice sliding save made by Andresa. I'm just wondering if it, if it wasn't given as a corner, maybe that's why, because it bounces back towards Pinto then. I think the referee says it came last off Pinto, and it would seem to be the case. Let's have a look here. Knocks it there, then comes back onto her knee there over the line. I wonder if the referee is just double-checking with potential handball or not. A penalty kick has been awarded. Ball the call, penalty awarded. Berkeley fires and she scores! North Carolina Courage taking first half lead, 1 0 to score on their home field. That's a good finish, isn't it? And have a look at Berkeley, just waits and says, Thank you, I'll go the other way. Jane Campbell, USA goalkeeper. Corner kick coming for Houston, their first of the match. Sanchez with an outswinger here. Header towards goal sent away. Oh, what a save by Casey Murphy. And that is another thing that Fran Alonso has talked about being a signature of his teams over with Celtic FC is that he does want them to press pretty high and look to turn teams over. Here comes Sanchez though with some space. Sanchez fires into the hands of Campbell. As Gary was just mentioning, really looking to build off of what was a strong 2023 campaign despite a lot of people picking them to finish last in the league. And something that Coach Neha said he's really proud. Here could be an opening again. Campbell touches it high. Stars, go to the IonTelevision.com to find your local Ion station and catch the Royals and Red Stars in action. So much going on in this NWSL opening weekend as a foul is called. Tough foul as well. Andresa on the ground, a little bit slow to get up. Women's team, just fantastic to see the investment from that club, the investment from the community over there. Uh, uh, just really, really fun to watch that matchup before this one got underway. Head referee Anya Voigt making her decision here after a VAR review. Denise O'Sullivan in question right now based on the contact on that last play. Uh oh, it's Calling trouble. Her over. Oh, it's yellow. <laughs> wow. I hope we can get some goals here in the second half. Second half officially underway. There is the whistle. North Carolina and Houston going to battle it out for another 45 or so here at Wake Med Soccer Park. The coach arriving very, very soon. He's been super successful. He'll be joining the NWSL. Of course, Fran Alonso's here with Houston Dash. It really is a league that is, is so exciting to watch. Big interception here for North Carolina. Shot from Lucy just wide. couple of those scrambles here in this game. No one able to capitalize, though. Here come the dash. Crossing in, pinged out. Second ball towards goal, touched away. Another big save. Here comes Houston. Agasato, one of the big off-season signings for this Houston Dash team. Now here come the courage again. Transition moment. Missed tackle. Ball in the back of the net. North Carolina doubles the lead. Yeah, it's been coming, hasn't it? There's been chances, there's been threats, there's been balls flashing past Jane Campbell's goal. Have kept the ball fairly well. It's right about 52-48, the split in terms of possession, but this is a North Carolina team that also possesses extremely well, as we pointed out. Here comes Sanchez on her horse. Hopkins looking for a second. Campbell has it. Which doesn't say much for longevity in the NWSL, does it? But Sean Ney has the players know what he wants and he can carry that through year after year. Sanchez off to Lucy who fires just wide. Wow. 
thought that was going in for a second. Sanchez getting ready to deliver the set piece here. Sanchez swings it in low near post, bouncing through, and it's an own goal. Houston pulls one back. Once they got the touch, have a look at number 13, Sophie Schmidt. She gets ahead of them as she did in the first half, gets that touch once she does. Debut with the North Carolina Courage. Signed as, as a free agent to a two-year deal in her eighth season in the NWSL. Bianca St. George, the other player who we were wondering when she would see the pitch. Signed as a free agent as well in early January. A big addition to this Courage roster. She is now into the match. This is all about game management now for the Courage. Still a long way to go, 15 minutes thereabouts plus, but they don't want to concede anything. They want to make sure that they, when they're attacking, they have players back ready to defend. Crossing in, and there's another one! From a corner, having already caused a goal. Sent in towards the near post, header saved. back and here's Sanchez. Dangerous diagonal ball played through. Naka knocks it out. Hopkins shot blocked. Second ball goes through. North Carolina Courage make it 4-1. Ignored. Goalkeepers making crucial saves like that but excellent game there by Casey Murphy. Yeah, Murphy just been so solid for North Carolina throughout this match. Mentioned she was on the Gold Cup roster. North Carolina, though, looking to grow the lead, and there it is! Weatherholt with her first goal in a North Carolina jersey. Rouch. Player who seamlessly transitioned to the NWSL. Tell you what, she doesn't look like she has any shortage of confidence. She's come in and just really seamlessly fit in with this group. That's it, that's the whistle. 